Hi, I want to talk to you about the uh, Ultrafire WF-501B. Um, these are pretty cool flashlights. You can get them, get them from China for a little more than 10 bucks. This is a silver one, but they also come in black. Now, I really do like these flashlights, and they work great as a, as a weapons light, too. But um, they do have one problem, and that's that uh, they have five modes that are controlled by the same button that powers the flashlight. And I find that to be extremely irritating. So, for example, um, when you touch it, it goes from high beam, medium beam, to low beam, and then it goes to a strobe, and then an SOS. And then, so sometimes, if you turn it on, it might end up in the wrong mode, like right there. So if you just want it to be a flashlight, there's something that you could do to modify these. So first, let me take it apart. <clears throat> these take the um, Ultrafire um, 3.4 or 3.7 volt lithium ion rechargeable batteries. These are pretty big. These are a lot bigger than a standard AA. There's a big lighter in comparison. Um, but uh, they hold a lot of juice and um, they're, uh, they're pretty cool. Anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, so here's where the electronics are housed. So you can just pop the spring off. I've heard in, on some of these flashlights the spring is actually soldered to the uh, electronics housing, but um, I have two of these flashlights and I haven't seen that before. So what we need to do is we need to remove this section here by heating up the, the solder. So we need to use a soldering iron. Okay, I'm going to go get my uh, helping hands. Here we go. There we go. Right there I just removed the solder from between the, the circuit board and the housing. Do the other side. Should pop off after this. Okay, and then once you, so once you get that popped out, you can see that um, there's two wires, a red and a black wire, and uh, this is the circuit that uh, controls the different modes and the light intensity and, and all that good stuff. Now, you know, I have to say that I don't really recommend doing this because <clears throat> technically um, some of this circuitry probably helps to protect the LED. Once you completely remove this, um, there's, you know, you're going to lose that protection. Um, I think it makes flashlight better, but and I'm taking a risk. But in the long run, I don't know exactly how well it's going to work.
I'm just going to go ahead and prime these wires with some solder. Okay, and then also I need to remove the spring from this from the circuit board. Next, um, what we need to do is take just a, a regular piece of, um, um, you know, a hobby circuit board here and cut it up so that it's uh, about the same size as a circle. You don't want to cut it too small because you want it to be able to fit snug in there so it doesn't wobble around or anything. Although we are going to solder it so that it's secured to the housing. But, and you don't want it too big because you want it to be able to fit in there, in the housing. I'll clean that up later. Now we shouldn't need that anymore. I'm going to go ahead and tuck these wires in here and just do a dry fit just to make sure that this is going to work out okay. So I need to trim a little bit more. One more on this side. That should work. All right. Okay. So next, um, we need to uh, <clears throat> um, we need to test and make sure. Well, let's see. Yeah. Um, this should be fine. Okay. The center should be positive on this one. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I had to think about that for a minute. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and prime the circuit board. Now what I'm doing is I'm um, priming uh, for the positive wire in the center and I'm going to prime for the connections on the sides here. On the... And then uh, if we turn the circuit board around we can see where, where we primed it. <laughs> That's funny, right in the crosshairs. <laughs> That's an accident. Okay, yeah. That's funny. Okay, and then stick the wire through the hole. And go ahead and heat it up. The wire should come through. Okay. You can see now now it's secured. And go ahead and do the same for the black wire now. Okay, now they're both secured. Now we can go ahead and just go ahead and pop this in here. Nice fit. All right. Okay, now use some solder to connect to connect the uh, housing to the black wire. Like so. And then go ahead and secure the other side too. 
like it was before. Okay, that should be good now that it should hold it into place. Got some extra solder on the outside edge here. I'm try to get some of that off. That'll probably be fine. Okay, next we need to um, secure the spring to the center, and then also um, spring to the center, and then also get it connected to the red wire there without getting it connected to the black wire. Okay. Center. That's pretty good. Okay, now it's connected to the red wire. So I'm just going to do another connection here and make sure that it doesn't fall off. Okay, there we go. That's it. I'm going to turn off my iron. Check and see how hot this thing is. Oh, it's not bad. Okay. All right, now it's ready to reassemble. So to reassemble this, uh, we screw it onto the uh, reflector. And pop on the spring. Okay. Then it drops into the lens container and then the, the body fitting now we can connect it to the body of the flashlight pop in the battery connect the butt and let's see if it works <gasps> look at that sweet you know one thing I noticed from doing this is that um, the, the LED is actually a little brighter now too. Um, I don't know if you could tell on the video, but this is a little bit brighter than the brightest setting. And now you don't have to worry about modes. Now, if you tap the uh, button, it just flashes. So now it's perfect for uh, weapons light or a light that you don't have to hassle with. Thanks for watching.